All right. He does some like he does some good CJ. He did a whole like piece where a Dalek landed in on um, on his road and went down, and destroyed some garbage cans and stuff, and blew up a car, I think, or something. Okay. But it was like it looked pretty good. I was like that looks like a Dalek going down the road. So just really quickly to save time, I'm just gonna high roll one dot. Okay, okay. so two. And you six. got it. Your All choice. Right. Take it to play. All right. And these are the old dragon shields here. Yep. The old dragon shield. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Likewise. And I'm going to do a thing where I do this, and then I'll play that, and we'll okay. swing for one. Oh, I will take one, and I'll get the... Uh, I'll get it out in just a sec. Phone. Well... And I don't know if I'm playing this right at all. play Mother of Runes. Hi, Mom. Pass turn. I feel like this is, so far, it looks very similar to a deck, I, a Mono Red Stompy that I played a couple couple sets ago. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to play a Wooded Foothills from Tap a Mountain. I'm going to play a Monster Swisper. Oh, my God. I'm going to swing for two. I will take two. Dear and God, I should through. be at 17 in just a second. Whenever that decides to load. I will play a Plains. Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Demonic Tutor. Blip, blip, blip. Getting stuff. I'll turn you red. Anyway, just for the heck of it. I can't use white because it doesn't show up very well. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Gee, I wonder what I'm getting here. In just a second. Get good old batter skull. Yeah. And it goes on attached? No, uh, well, it'll to, create a germ to token it. that then it attaches to. Mm. So, it's kind of. <laughs> it just kind of stops me in my tracks. Yeah. And unfortunately, I ended up with, like, the perfect board here because the mom can protect the mystic. And then I'll pass the turn. What does mom do? Let me read that. Target your control against first color of choice on turn. Yeah. So basically, if you want to kill the Stoneforge mystic, you're going to need two burn spells. Going to combat. Mm -hmm. Swinging for two. I'll take two. In response to no blocks. Okay. Here we go. I feel some damage coming. I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm going to try. I'm going to sacrifice two mountains. <gasps> fire blast. I'm going to fire blast. Probably the Stoneforge Mystic to try to keep me off Batter Skull. Yeah, Stoneforge. In response, I'll give Stoneforge, I'll give Misty protection from red. Yeah. That's all I, that's all I can do. You don't have a lightning bolt or something? Nothing. Mm. That's probably a bad play. <gasps> right. uh -oh. I just want to get you to tap that. That's one less tap you can do. Well, it's this turn. Because I'm going to be able to untap. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just messing with you. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Your fast turn. Yeah. Good old draw. Fire Going blast. Right that's on legit. Time. Yeah. Yeah, now, the more that I look at it, the more it seems like Death and Taxes is favored in the match. I really don't know for sure, though. Um, we'll play an Aether Vial. Okay. Did you take any damage? You took two damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you took, you're right, you're right. I did cast it, so you do get the And I also took prowess, two right? from Prowess. That's yeah. right. And I'll, then I'll pass turn. Good catch. It's, it's kind of late here, YouTube. No worries. No worries. I'm going to play a Mountain. Mm-hmm. What is that, Ether Vial? Yeah, so right now it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it can start puking creatures out. That's a very technical magic term. It starts letting me play some creatures. I'll do it MTGO style. Going to combat. Um, before blockers, mm -hmm. uh, we'll tap the Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Better Skull. 
Wow. My uh, classy germ token has the top hat. I need to give it a monocle. Yeah. I'm meaning to give it a monocle for some time. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, it'll, I'd like to go to blocks. All right, I'm gonna pop this. Uh oh. I'm get a, a land. Uh oh. Well, it's a four four, so here comes shenanigans. Get that right there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I got much in the way of shenanigans, but I'm just gonna do price of progress. I, it wouldn't actually deal any damage to either of us. I know. Because we all. Oh. I'm just gonna get the prowess trigger so I can at least get two more damage through. Alright. Uh, so I'll take two, gain four. You do, don't you? It's oh, lifelink. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, at this point. Right. We may have to go to game two on this one. Yeah. This is. Let's do it. Let's go to game two. That's fine. Right. I completely botched that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's late and it's your first time with the deck. Yeah. Yeah, so. No worries. It happens, man. Alright, sideboard time. I guess as a general rule, when you're playing Death and Taxes, it's better if you play creatures. If you're playing a non-creature deck, like Storm, yeah. it's it, it's a tough ride. Alright. Alright, so uh, you'll take the play, I guess? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Admittedly though, that was also a stupidly good hand for me, so I don't know that I'll get that again. I'll keep Life this. Is. I'm going to... Play Monastery's with Spear. And I'm swing for one. Taylor's with Spear. Oh, Taylor's yeah. with Spear. Preferred. Okay. Um, Plains Aether Vial go. Plus Dane Meyer, mm -hmm. bracket, go 19. Oh, by the way, there we go. Get a red source. Alright. Goblin Guide? Hmm. Okay. I'm hurt, dog. Do lava spike to you. All right. Take three. Prowess trigger. Swing for one, two, three, four. Trigger the goblin guide. Mm -hmm. I'll add a wasteland to my hand and take okay. four. And I'll pass turn. One. Yep. Oh my god. Well, okay then. Don't forge mystic. Hmm. That's the thing. Okay. Trigger? Yep. And I'll, I'll pass turn after this. I'm getting an Umazawa's G tank. Okay. Oh. It's, I like to think of it as the original Planeswalker. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Seems legit. Mm hmm. It seems legit. Or not. Okay. Show me your moves. All right. Um, I'm gonna play a chain lightning. I'm assuming targeting the mid or, or targeting me. I'm at 12 life, so I'm we're target, pretty well, close. Well, I can pay two more, right? Uh, well, I can pay two more. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just going to do that then. And do... I'm going to target that right there. All right, she's dead, Jim. And then I'm going to... I mean, it's a prowess trigger, of course. Flame Rift. We'll each take four. Yeah. Okay. Prowess trigger. Mm-hmm. Swing for five. Goblin Guide trigger. Ether yeah. Sworn Cannonist. Okay. I'll take five. Yeah. And I'll pass turn. I pass. If you have a fire blast, <laughs> now is the time. Well. 
Okay. I probably could have, if I just uh, bolted you instead. Hmm. But you still had a blocker up, so. I'll play okay. an Umazawa's Jite. Mm hmm. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. Show me burn spell. Go to combat. Uh, Swing for three. Trigger goblin god. Yep. <laughs> Mother of runes. Okay. Um. Activate Aether Vial. Okay. I mean, you already know I have an Aether Sworn Cannonist in hand. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Swords the Goblin. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Ooh. Ooh. This is tough, because if you have anything in your hand that you can play at instant speed, and I hit the goblin guide, and then... So basically, if you have anything, then your prowess will let your swift spear beat the cannonist. So I should probably... Well... If I don't stick the cannonist, though, I don't know that I win this. I think I have to play to that out. I know I have a mom on top, so I could wait one turn, play the mom, equip the mom, but that gives you another turn to just shoot over my head. We'll, we'll do it this way. We'll sword your goblin guy. Okay. So you'll gain two and it's exiled. And this is all before blockers. Gotcha. And then I'll block the swift sphere. See if you have something. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Second main phase. Hide on. Okay, that's, that's why. I'll pass turn. Fair enough. Um... Vile ticket three. Okay. Well, can't really play the mom right now, I guess. Wasteland. Well, that's that's a little awkward. Can I see how many lands you have? Sure. Three. Okay. Ooh, okay. I will equip the G-Tang. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go to combat. Yep. Swing. Do you have, does that have a life fling or anything like that? No, but it can use counters to gain me life. But that happens after damage. Right now it doesn't have any counters on it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. You'll take it? Yep. I'll get two counters on the G-Tang. Okay. To, I'll find two counters for the GTA. Mm. It's right behind me. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. I might use a counter right now just in case you have sudden shock. I don't think you have... I think I remember the list. Okay. I'll play it as if I don't know, if that's okay. Sure. Okay, so one... Scalding turn? Well, I was at three... That's fine, whatever. Oh, that's, that's a thing. Wait a minute, you don't have any blockers up? No, I don't have no. any blockers. Okay. Before, before I play this? Yes. That's okay. Go for it. I'm going to swing two at you. Okay, I'll take two. And then I'm going to play that. Yes. And I'll pass turn. Okay. No cards in hand. That's right, so no attacks. Uh -uh. He's doing the death and tax now. Mm -hmm. You got it. Death and tax. Caracas? That's risky. I, I maybe didn't need to do that. And. 
YOLO, <laughs> play Batter Skull. Mm -hmm. And because because it's big enough, I don't take damage from Eidolon. Yep. Um, that's it. Pass turn. In your turn, I'm gonna sack this. Mm -hmm. Get a card. Sixteen. Like any burn spell. Yeah. <laughs> Not actual any, but well, actual. You know, one will kill me no matter what. And it's lightning bolt. Come on, there's gotta be lightning bolts in this thing, right? You can, uh, one can dream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. All the deck thinning. Pass turn. All right. Well, I'm already out of way out of threat range for it, so YOLO, I guess. Hmm. Cavern? Human? Mm -hmm. Sure. Pastor. In a turn, I'm going to sack the Tarn. Mm -hmm. Whose life? So this basically just shuts it down. Mm -hmm. In the turn, Swords to Plowshares, your Eidolon. Sure. I'll take two. Okay. And it's exiled. You yeah. gain two. Okay. Um, yeah. I swear, there's a reason. This, however, was not it. Another Aether Vial. Okay. Pass turn. Pass turn. Oh, that's fine. What is it? No, nothing. I missed my counter on Aether Vile. Oh. Usually I have a die on my deck yeah. to remind me before I put the first one. Maybe it makes a difference. I don't know. You can put it on there. Yeah. Oh no, it's it's fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm good with that. Go for it. Okay. I didn't get my die because it's right behind. Yeah, me. you're good. Man. Um. Pass turn. That ensnaring bridge. Lightning bolt. Okay. Shenanigan time. Uh oh, well, this is on the stack. Yeah. What are you doing? Swords to plowshares, targeting the germ token. Okay. I'll gain four life. Okay. And, uh, yeah. you're gone, buddy. You're exiled. Mm hmm. And then I'll take two. Or take three and go to two. Mm hmm. Alright, that's okay. pretty good. That's uh, something. Yeah. And I will pass turn. Uh, end of turn. Uh, Aether Vial, mm -hmm. activate. Let's get a Mother of Runes. Okay. Also into turn. We'll return Batter Skull to our hand. Okay. All right. Go to two here. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, I guess once again. Why not play a batter skull? Yep. Get a germ token. Yep. And then I, there is a card in here I'm looking for desperately to try to get me out of this. And I'll 
Actually, before I pass the turn, you have no cards in hand? None. Not that it makes any difference, I suppose, but I'll activate Thalia. Okay. Or activate Aether Vial and drop out Thalia. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. So you're good now. In turn. Fetch. Life. Deck the name. Yay. This game. Uh oh. Flame Rift. Even if I drop the counter, that'll put me to four, and then that'll put me to zero. So you got this one. All right. <gasps> oh my Banish goodness! So it was a Banisher Priest in Ham. I was hoping you had a creature so that I could banish it, but no such luck. Oh uh, well. We gotta do game three. All right, let's do this. Well, you did have a you did have a couple. I did, yeah. Price of progress isn't great in this match. That's exactly right. About half my lands are basic, and about half aren't. So, a little bit more than half aren't. That being said, there are some decks like a lot of the Delver variants. No basics, actual no basics. So, <laughs> it can be silly there. Or God, we have a lands deck in the Gauntlet. You know, one basic. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll keep it. What do you say? I will not keep it. Fair enough. Not enough lands? No lands. No lands, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is me not blaming you then. Well, One land is probably doable in a lot of cases, but... That's right. Unless your hand is chock full of like... Two drops? Fire blast <laughs> and two drops, yeah. There's not, many, there's not many... There's not really much over two in there. I don't think there's anything over two, is there? Uh, <laughs> Fire Blast isn't actually over two. That's... There's some sideboard cards, like Exquisite Firecraft. Yeah. That are three mana. Yep. That's as high as it goes, I think. Sulfuric Vortex. Uh, that's it, really. It needs to be cheap. <coughs> I'm a big fan of the turn three lightning bolt price of progress Fire Blast. For oh, right. 13 or keep, however much. I can keep this. All right. I'll start off with a planes <clears throat> into a mother of runes, and then I'll pass the turn. Mm -hmm. His mom longed for this world. Got oh, guy. okay. Swing for two. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'll take I'll take two. Pass the turn. That's pretty Gee, rough. I wonder. Um, first, let me decide what the other one is. In so hindsight, just one. may not have been a great hand to keep. I'm sorry. Stoneboard Mystic. Yep. Obvious Batter Skull is obvious. Yeah. And this is literally about the only thing that can make this more perfect is if that port were a another planes. Because of price. Yeah. That's it. I just... I got the lucky hand. Oh, it was the next card anyway. Ugh. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not on the field. Don't worry. <laughs> we're not... We're not there. My god. Two mana put in equipment on the field. Going to play a Swift Spear. Mm hmm. And go to combat. Right. Swing trigger. Yeah. Add Crocus to hand. Okay. Um, how many lands do you have left? One. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to play this correctly. What I could do is protect something with Mother of Runes, but if you play, that could be a bait. You play a land afterwards, and then, and I, I know you may not have another land, but that would be an interesting bait to do it that way. <laughs> So I'll just take the three. Okay. Pass turn. All right. Oh my God. Is it getting better? As if it needed to get better, <laughs> I suppose. Um, Crocus. 
like another mother, mm. and then past term. I'm just gonna swing you for three. Right. Attack trigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, um, drop the batter skull into play. Sure. Block the. I guess we'll block the. Swift Spear. Occasionally you might give me another land and help thin me through. Okay. So I'll go down two and up four. Let me go ahead and bolt it. Bolt your germ. Oh, it's it's four toughness. After damage. Oh, I see what you yeah, I see what you're Before damage, about. it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, so. Rip, rip. There you go. Okay. Alright, you take two. Uh, yes. And I, pa I'll pass turn. Okay. This hand is disgusting. Because Cavern of Souls naming Artificer. Okay. I guess I should name Core, but whatever. Uh, this is nuts anyway. Gta. Gta. Equip Gta. Yeah. Um, combat. I'm gonna go to swing A. Yep. Taking it. You take one and then two counters. Okay. And then I'll pass turn. Eric Mesa. Mm hmm. You get a land card. True that. There's a reference a lot of our audience won't get. I'm not that old, but because my parents are, <laughs> I grew up with Mr. Bill. He's going to be mean to me. From Lava Mancer? Oh, that's a thing. The germ token is gone. I'm gonna go to combat. All Swing right. so attack trigger? Yeah. Add Wasteland uh -huh. to my hand. We will block with Mother of Runes, who sure. will give herself protection from red. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna lava spike you. Three. Um, After second main phase. After yeah. damage resolve, sorry. Okay. I'll take three. And then, yeah. That's all I got. At end of turn, we'll use one counter to give minus one, minus one to the Lava Mancer. Oh. And then we'll use the other counter to give minus one, minus one to the Goblin Guide, which has one damage yeah, marked on it. that's it right there. Um, that does it. Okay. Yeah. Well... Can you do it? Can we kill me this turn? No, no, not this turn. Oh gosh, we're uh, we're a ways from there, <coughs> but I mean, shenanigans. Um, yeah, that that's a little cute doing that. I I do want to though. Stoneforge Mystic. Mm-hmm. Get Sword of Fire and Ice. That's actually a main board because of cards like True Name Nemesis yeah. and just the prevalence of blue. And plus two damage and draw a card. Usually I think that's the best one of the cycle. Feast and Famine situationally. Alright. Well...
Combat. Mm -hmm. Swing. Yep. One. We got it. Just one, but you know, two counters. Yep. And then pass turn. The alternative was return the batter skull and then pop it in. And the next turn I could swing for more. I have a reason for doing it the other way though. Flame Rift. Yikes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright. Last turn. Now I'll return it to hand. Okay. Okay. Play Wasteland from my hand. Okay. One, two. Uh, you're stuck on two lands? Two lands, yep. Yeah. Ooh, man. We'll do it this way. Pop out the Sword of Fire and Ice. Okay. We'll equip it to the Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. And. Hey, y'all. Swing three. Yep, you got it. Alright, so two more counters. Let's see, you're at 13. Yep. So if I expend this. No, it wouldn't be enough anyway. Okay, so go to four counters and then. The Sword of Fire and Ice, I'll deal two to you, so it's okay. a total of five. Okay. And then, for Shiggles, the other Stoneforge oh, Mystic. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm out of things to go and get. Okay. Pastor. For Shiggles. Swift Spear. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm gonna lava spike you for three. Blip, blip, blip. Pass turn. Alright. Don't think there's anything I can do here. I have a card, I mean, I have a card in my hand. I think I can help, but. Help the mana. Alright, draw. Get the perfect attendance crew out in just a second. We'll, um. One, two. Tap, get the batter skull in. Okay. Get its germ token in. Equip Gta. I'm assembling Voltron over here. <laughs> uh, equip the Sword of Fire and Ice. And yes, I know this is silly because I can't attack with it this turn, but... Next turn. I, l I cannot resist. I actually cannot resist. Um... And then we'll play a wasteland. And pass the turn. Foothills. Crack foothills. Getting a mountain. Mm -hmm. Blip. Ooh. <laughs> Tap three. It's doing bridge. Oh my god. The punish is real. <laughs> I should have gone for it. One card in hand. <laughs> I should have gone for it. Pass turn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Well, karma's a bitch. Okay. You can swing with everything you have, though. Yes. Uh, well, you have one card in hand. Yeah. One card. Except for that guy over there. We'll, we'll do this first. We'll uh, Wasteland, Sacrifice the Horizon Canopy. Okay. Draw a card. That's cute. That's uh, not really helpful here. Um, it's not stylish, but I'll do it. Um, we'll expend two counters from GTA mm -hmm. to hit Monastery Swift Spear. Okay. Kill it. We'll move the GTA over to uh, the original holder, I suppose. Gotcha. And then we'll swing with the whole crew. Yeah. And they're all at one, 
And this doesn't actually buff until I use the counter, so I can wait till after declare attackers, yep. and then expend a counter, plus two, plus two, exactly seven. Yep, you got it. I... That was so close. Okay, so the way that I get out of this otherwise, assuming... Okay, so the next card was Recruiter of the Guard. Recruiter gets Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp gets rid of Ensnaring Bridge for a turn. Okay. And then, you know, the truck. So unfortunately, Voltron couldn't get the job done, but that's okay. You did, you did good work there, buddy. Thank you. Um, oh. Gideon, and yes. well, yeah, you you did good work too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you did. I mean, I did okay. I did play. I played this poorly. I feel like I started getting the hang of it though. First time with the deck, it's it's to be expected. No worries, man. I mean, it's lightning bolt. <laughs> I mean, well, okay. I'm trying to be. It's just a bunch of lightning bolts. I'm trying to be encouraging. It's just, <laughs> You're not helping. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's hit him with the lightning bolt. Okay, so here's my, my crew. Ages of the Gods for Hexproof. It's really not that powerful in, the, in this particular match. It just forces you to spend one of your removal spells on Aegis instead of me. So a lightning bolt goes to him, and then the lava spikes can start coming. Main board or no? Yes, the Eidolons are main board. The exquisite firecraft is usually for the blue decks. Uh, yeah. Banish your priest to get rid of a creature. It's kind of a two for one, unless you kill it right back. I don't know what I took out. What I put in? Oh, oh um, searing blood maybe. Mm. And either one cannonist to keep you from storming off on me. I get one removal spot. It's really good with mother of runes because you can target something. Mom protects it, and you can't keep going with it. Um, it also shuts down storm at all. It's I mean, snaring bridge. Is that main ward? Yeah, oh, no, no, that's sideboard. That's that's the card. Okay. That's what's doing it. And then Gideon is so that I can keep pumping out creatures that trade with yours, generally, um, if I need to. Plus, it's indestructible, yada, yada. Or, excuse me, yeah, indestructible and prevent all damage. Mm. <laughs> I mean, because why not? Why not? So... Exquisite Firecraft, not a good thing because if you got moms out, you can Yeah, take not a couple. in this deck. Um, Firecraft is for Delver and Murphos and Leobold and stuff like that. Yeah. And the Spell Mastery is what makes it uncounterable. But um, in this match, something that could deal with a bunch of creatures, I don't have a Pyroblast or an Anger or Volcanic Fallout, but those would all be good. But. Burn is, is tough to build a sideboard for, in a way, because you don't have a lot of draw cards, mm -hmm. so you just need redundant copies. And it's like a combo. You don't want to water it down too much, or it won't do what you need it to do. Yeah. And then I sided out three Flicker Wisp. They're not usually that great in the match. And Spirit of the Labyrinth does actual nothing except is a 3-1, um, which is sometimes fine. One Flicker Wisp for problem permanence. I didn't know I was going to need it that badly. <laughs> Go figure. Snaring Bridge is a problem permanent. Yes, yes it is. And there were when all it I got you that game too yeah. hard. All I wanted to do was sit back and just not get hit by you and then almost just play burn spells at that point. Uh, yeah, and that's what that was the plan that last round too. But. And you would have gotten away with it yeah. too if it weren't for those meddling germs. Well, for that one card in my yeah. hand. Those meddling kids, the Stoneforge Mystics, there we go. All right. All right I, was gonna I need that altar now. All right. 